G'day, this is Tota from uh, Blues Guitar Beginner with another webcam special. And we're doing the A Blues guitar scale here, and we're just using the chordal scale tones in the ninth position fingering. Ninth position fingering, so what is that? Here it is. We're going to be using this one. And so this scale pattern goes across the A, D, G, and B strings. So we're going to be playing A on A12 with the 4th finger. We're going to be playing C on D10 with the 2nd finger. We're going to be playing D on D12 with the 4th finger. And E flat on D13 with the 4th finger. We're going to be playing E on G9 with the 1st finger. G on uh, G12 with the 4th finger. And A is on B10 with the 2nd finger. So let me just walk you through that. So here's A. On A12, fourth finger. C on D10, second finger. D on D12, fourth finger. E flat on D13, first finger. Or e, uh, G8 with the first finger. E is on G9 with the first finger. G is on G10 with the fourth finger. A is on A with a second finger, B10. So. But as we've been doing with our little series and our little investigation, we're not going to play all the notes. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just going to play the chord tones. So with A7, we're going to be playing just A, C, E, A, E, G, and A notes. Right, A on uh, A on A12, E on G9, G on G12, and A on B10. So when we play against an A7 chord, we'll just be using those notes for making our melodies. And these are here, right there. Straight up the triad. For D7, we'll be using these notes. Uh, A, C, D, and A. Okay. Uh, a on uh, A is on A12, C is on D10, D is on D12, and A is on B10. B fingering 4242, and that's going to look kind of like this. A, C, D, A. A on B10, D on D12, C on D10, A on A12. And then for the e, E7, we're going to be indicating E7 with these two notes, E and D, E on G9, and D on uh, D12. And as we've been doing in the series, we'll take them around with the chord changes. A, D, A, A, D, D, A, A, E, D, A, E. So let's get into it. We'll try them with both the uh, chordal tones out of the blue scale, A blue scale, and the chords. So we go. Down to D. Back to A. To D. A. 
So there it is, just using just the chordal tones out of the blues scale going around the changes. And we haven't touched the whole blues scale yet. So the main point of this being that if you can use just a home arpeggio and get plenty of juice out of that and get the assurance out of that, and using just the chordal tones out of the scale and getting the juice out of that, you've got two really strong platforms to start putting the, the rest of the blues scale on. So for the time being, that ends this. A blues guitar scale um, clip, and we did this chordal scale tones in the ninth position. Thanks for watching, and pretty soon I'm going to wrap the whole thing up and uh, have a little curtain fall on all these little patterns. That ends this video for the time being. Thanks for stopping by. See you again.